Welcome to another Brownie Bites edition of It's Always Game Day in Cleveland. I'm Daryl Ryder coming to you from Cross Country Mortgage Campus in Berea where the Browns put the wraps on day number 14 of training camp and their second of two practices with the Minnesota Vikings. Typically things can get heated on the second day of a joint practice. Not the case on Thursday and Browns head coach Kevin Stefanski happy to see both of these teams able to get their work in without any fights. These are two teams with pros on either side. Uh, again, there's a lot of carryover. Guys know each other from growing up, from college, from playing against each other, playing with each other. So uh, it's, it's a spirited environment. It's football. We don't mind that. We enjoy that. We like guys that are talking trash on either side. That's, that's just all part of it. Because the reps in uh, team period, 7-on-7 seven seven and 11-on-11, 11 11 were focused on the first and second teams for both of these clubs, that means Saturday's preseason game is going to be all about the back end of the roster. That means Dorian Thompson-Robinson gets to start at quarterback, and Tyler Huntley will handle mop-up duty. Let's go over some injury news. Defensive tackle Mike Hall, uh, the rookie that uh, got himself in hot water earlier this week, arrested and charged with domestic violence. He practiced on Wednesday but left early due to an injury. We found out on Thursday it was a stinger. No timetable for his return, but he was not on the field Thursday. Wide receiver Amari Cooper, not so good news here. Uh, a little disappointing to see him leave practice early with an undisclosed injury. Kevin Stefanski referred to, to it as soreness. Denzel Ward in concussion protocol. Stefanski would not say specifically if Ward has a concussion, but uh, he uh, did not practice as well. Also tight end David Njoku, has ha who has had one of the best connections with uh, Deshaun Watson uh, this offseason, and especially here in training camp, uh, making highlight plays pretty much on a daily basis, getting some one-on-one -on -one coaching from a team consultant and former Ohio State Buckeye, as well as former NFL head coach of the Tennessee Titans, Mike Vrabel. Njoku, a little banged up, was limited and uh, did not finish the practice. Want to talk some about this offense, though. They have been consistently inconsistent. The defense has been fine. Jim Schwartz, year two for him, looks like they're preparing to take that additional step, being in the second year of that system. But it is the first year under this new Stefanski slash uh, Ken Dorsey hybrid offensive system that they're putting together for quarterback Deshaun Watson. Stefanski not all that concerned with what he sees from them and actually feels like there's a lot of positive to build on. I think when you get to this point in camp for us, you're out of the install world. Now you're really into the streamlining world and, and seeing what fits your guys. And, and that's so much of it going back to the spring and then in, into July and August, finding out what you think you might do well, finding out the things that maybe you aren't so good at, so you shelve those, or you find better ways to do them. So that's where we are uh, offensively and defensively, and then finding out the guys that are available, guys that you can, uh, where you're going to plug them in, where you're going to move them around, those type of things. I feel like I have a good base of uh, how, what we do well potentially. Uh, you know, that's all. Obviously, we, we got plenty of work to do, but I, I think I know, I think we know uh, potentially what we can do well. Still figuring out what fits our players best, the runners, the line, those type of things. There's core things uh, that I believe we can do and do well, but it's still a matter of uh, working those and just getting uh, all of the nuance taught in those schemes. It remains to be seen. Uh, I think there's, there's definitely different areas that you can lean into. Uh, shotgun, under center, multiple tight ends, no tight ends. Uh, there's all sorts of variables that uh, we're working through. And, and, and really now is the time in camp and we'll start to streamline that. We have seen at times in practice where Deshaun Watson has appeared to be frustrated. However, the quarterback told us prior to practice Thursday, what we perceive is not reality. Yeah, I think it is a incorrect um, perception on, on me. It's not that I'm frustrated or anything like that. You know, we all show emotion, but at the same time, like we said, we always want to strive for perfect and perfection. And, um, yeah, sometimes, you know, we might, you know, show a little shrug or head nod or things like that, but don't mean that we're frustrated. You know, we just want to make sure we capitalize and, uh, you know, be successful on each play. And that's that's what you want as a team. You know, you don't want anything to go negative, go wrong, and everyone, no one cares about it. So, uh, but overall, you know, like I said before, it's just keep stacking these days, keep growing, um, keep learning. And that's all we can do. I think, uh, you know, the best teams, not during, not during just training camp, is ready for week one, but ready for week one and the, the other 16 games. And if you can continue to grow uh, with that, that's when the best teams become towards the end of the year. 
Another positive to come from Thursday's practice, the offensive line, a little more organized, fewer flags, better communication, all things Kevin Stefanski wanted to see improved. Here's the head coach on his offensive line. Yeah, I thought it was good. Uh, you know, yesterday we did a third down uh, section, which is a, a a third and long section, which is a difficult spot to be in, and in, in those uh, pass protections, uh, more red zone work today. But I think the guys made a lot of corrections. I think that's another big point of these, and just talking to their coaches as well. They play a very different defense than us, and we play. You know, the style that we play is very different that they see every day. So I think they're appreciative to go up against our scheme and learn some different things about uh, their scheme against that, and and vice versa. Even going back to. Uh, the spring got a lot of work done in the spring and then you add on what you're doing now uh, obviously as a quarterback and yes as a coach you want all of your guys out there uh, but we'll get them out there when they're ready and then uh, it's good to to get some good reps both call it an individual then in a seven on seven then in the team so obviously it's always good to have your guys out there the Browns do have a tackle situation going on right now. Of course, Jack Conklin and Jed Wills both recovering from knee surgery that took place last year. Of course, uh, Conklin had the ACL and MCL repaired. Jed Wills had his MCL repaired. Unsure on the timelines for each guy, but we have seen the impact of not having them on the football field. We've seen Deshaun Watson under duress, especially uh, the last couple of days against the Vikings in these joint practices. But Watson has full faith in his guys up front. I don't, I don't consider any of those are the problems. It just comes down to communications, different looks. You know, this is a, a joint practice usually, you know, going through the week. You kind of have preparation, looking at film, things like this, uh, things like that. But in training camp, you know, you kind of just show up and you kind of try to do the base rules and sometimes the base rules you know the defense might have um, tendencies that might override those base rules uh the what we what we talk about as an offense so um yeah i'm very confident in my offensive line each one of those guys they work hard they study hard uh they try hard so um all that stuff can be fixed and that's why we go through training camps and we practice against different teams but um yeah overall you know there's some good things out there uh, keep stacking these days, keep learning, keep growing from it. It's not going to always be perfect, but, you know, we always strive to, you know, be perfect. And uh, that's why we, you know, we call it practice and uh, training camp. Whoever's in uh, is going to play hard. They're going to compete, you know, and that's all we ask for is just to be able to be the best you um, and communicate with all the other guys up front to make sure we all on the same page. And, uh, you know, we know our standard when we step out on the field. As for Watson's health, everything seems to be fine. Watson, of course, is going to play in the preseason finale against the Seahawks. And if you want to see it and you live uh, here in Cleveland or on the East Coast, you're going to have to stay up late. That is a post 10 p.m. kickoff next Saturday in Seattle. But as far as Watson's health, all green lights, according to the quarterback. I feel really good. Um, each and every day is a, is a test um, to that stamina, to that strength, to the preparation that I put in, you know, from the day I got out of surgery. Everyone has been on the same page, and that's what we've been. We're on the right pace, right right track, and, um, you know, if we wasn't on that, that process, you know, I wouldn't be throwing every day, so it's been good. Biggest thing with the preseason uh, pre games, I think it comes down to operational. Uh, you're not going to do too much in preseason. You're not going to show anything, so... It's really just operational. So that's why, you know, I take a lot of reps, if not majority of all the reps in these joint practices, because it's game like, you know, going against different opponents, different different things. So, um, yeah, I mean, for me, it, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, once you step on the field, you got to perform and you got to play. I'm not trying to take a hit. <laughs> so uh, that's not even on my mind. I'm trying to just come out clean each and every each and every game. So I ain't. That ain't on my mind to take a hit, for sure. Yeah, every, every day is a confidence booster. You know what I'm saying? So not just going against different opponents, different teams, a great Minnesota team, but against a great defensive team, too. They don't take it light on me, and I, I don't want them to go out there and be like, oh, you know, four had a shoulder injury, so let's not, you know, let's just take it light whenever you didn't know. We all compete. We all going to play like we're going to play in the game. So um when i step on the field between those lines i got to perform nothing else matter regardless of an injury or not so so that's a wrap on yet another week of browns training camp and preseason game number two comes your way saturday night against the vikings my partner andy baskin will be back we will recap what 
we expect to be a sensational, riveting preseason game against the Minnesota Vikings. As always, we want to thank you for downloading and subscribing wherever you get your podcasts. Feel free to leave us comments on YouTube as well as uh, reviews, again, wherever you get those podcasts, including the free Odyssey app. Appreciate you very, very much. So for my partner, Andy Baskin, this is Daryl Ryder saying it's always game day in Cleveland.